I, this video is for every auto mechanic and every kid that wants to become an auto mechanic and it's for everyone who needs an auto mechanic who wants to find a place to fix their car it's the crisis of non repairability you know a long time ago people fixed consumer electronics that went away it was a great career to learn electronics and learn how to fix people's stuff and that became a terrible career it became a career that doesn't work anymore no one would ever think of fixing their big screen TV no one would fix their computer so uh, no one fixes their stereo anymore you just throw them out we have used once throwaway cars speaking now to the mechanics Zeno come on come here I'll get you on camera oh look at this look at this giant cat he's like a 20 pound football player he'll come through the door and knock me over almost making me spill cat food let me speak directly to you auto mechanics for a moment we can't let this happen if they won't build cars right we're gonna have to build cars and sell them I don't mean to start new car companies that sell stock and not cars I'm talking about making cars and selling them and this was Ford's first mistake he made the cars we didn't want to sell them but then he came back to work the next day and all the cars were gone the manager had sold them but he had all the money and they made more cars we're gonna have to settle on designs and start building and selling some repairable cars otherwise there won't be any cars that are repairable and there will be no place to get your car repaired and you know try taking it to the Tesla dealer does that help let me tell you about building cars it's illegal we can build motorcycles we can build three wheelers we can build reverse strikes but we can't build four-wheel cars because we need them crash tested one strategy we should really think about is getting a chassis together a standard design chassis for a four-wheel car and kind of like a crate chassis something that we could use and it's been crash tested it's been approved and we can then you can put whatever body style you want on that is a thought but that's what we're going to do four-wheel cars otherwise it's save your old cars save your old metal cars and start painting them because they're going to get electrics inside it's the easiest thing in the world well it's not the easiest thing in the world but we're going to do it anyway we're going to make it easy i'm going to show you some cars you know we really have to save ourselves let me tell you a story what let's say we have a kid and he's smart and he likes to use his hands and he wants to use his mind too auto mechanics was a great choice it was a great career choice well that's no more now it's a fatal career choice and you can try to find your trusted mechanic and when you do that honest trusted mechanic is going to tell you I can't fix this this is not meant to be fixed they just replace them we need to save our opportunities you know they say well we're we're now in a service economy but then they're making it impossible to do the services so we're going to be in an economy where we don't make the cars here and we can't fix them that's great huh so you know that's selling out America piece by piece acre by acre and by the way it's your I'm speaking especially to young people it is your patriotic duty to buy up America so I propose start building cars and selling them to the public I'm going to show you some viable designs some uh, properties that I think are valuable in a car that you want to get fixed at some later date well here it is it's under the organ right now parked this is an 11 inch oh I think it's an advanced DC motor one of those companies and uh, it's a monster 
It's got these gigantic leads that go to it. It's brushed, a brush DC. It's actually series wound. Now, you know there was a, so, uh, there were things on YouTube about a teenager who invented a motor that had no rare earth metals in it, and it still was efficient. And uh, well, that's this one. This is very efficient. It has efficiency in the 90s over a wide range and it has extra torque at low speed because it's got the series winding so you know the current rushes in well it goes through that field first or not first at the same time and the field is stronger than normal so it gets stronger than normal torque now that does not work for regenerative braking now does it but there's a way to do it you take you tap it you tap into it you take it apart and you make a, you know, the right incision and you tap that thing so you can do it as a shunt wound and then you use it with one cell like a, one of those 300 amp cells you know and you know the a buck converter with it and when you want to slow down, you simply pour current through that field and it'll drag you right down. That would be a great break. And it's got no rare earth and it's powerful like hell. This thing will replace a V8. It was in a Dodge Charger, but he upgraded to a, a fancier motor. And I got this very cheap. Now, I'm going to show you a car that is made to be fixed. This one. These are made to be fixed. And uh, let me show you about the inside. Not only is it made to be fixed, it needs to be fixed. It needs rings. Too bad. It's really worn out. Really worn out motor. But look at all the room inside. You can reach your hand in there. Everything is simple. Everything is out in the open. Here's the distributor and the spark plugs. Everybody can reach them, no problem. There's the oil filter, that's easy to reach. Fuel pump. Now this is actually a complete electric car. Here's the battery. There's the electric motor is way down there. That's the starter motor down there. Now if you just hook up the starter motor to the, we'll put it in gear, turn the key, it's an electric car. Got to throw away the motor and the fuel tank yeah, so this car really needs a ring job, but I'm in no mood to do it because I'm really sick of buying gas. Now our goal is to put ourselves out of business by making something so durable and so repairable that they don't need to make any more of them because they already have plenty. And so they put themselves out of business. That's the goal. Now I'll take a look at a car that any mechanic can fix. Your mechanic right now knows how to fix this car. Let me show you what's in it. Now first of all, this one's electric. So hey, no engine to fix. Don't worry about that. There's the electric motor. Now any mechanic can put new brushes in that thing. They can take the cover off, take the motor out, take the cover off and uh, put new brushes in, no problem. Now, there's a chain drive. Any mechanic knows how to fix a chain drive. I don't care if they've never seen this before, they could fix it, not a problem. So, it's got some brake lines back there. And those are hydraulic brakes, not power assisted. No computer hooked up to those brakes. So, uh, you know, any mechanic can fix that stuff. Now, here are pair of brake cylinders. Your mechanic knows about that. No problem. 
the, all the electrics are out in the open so you can see them. The only thing that your mechanic can't fix is the thing that burned up right there, which is the controller. And sometimes you have to replace the controller. And we're going to talk about that later because we need a controller that you don't need to replace that you can repair because it's modular. So, at, at, anyway, there's some suspension parts. You could see that. Your mechanic knows how to fix that stuff. So, there's nothing in this car your mechanic can't fix. Now, this isn't the car. This is an electric scooter. It's only got three wheels because they won't let me build a car unless I crash test it. But anyway, this car is just, well, not this car, the scooter is fully repairable. And that's the goal. That's the standard. Now look at the steering, by the way. See that? The steering wheel, it's cable. And the reason is I did not, I have no ability to make a steering column that is like collapsible so I don't want a steering column punching me through the chest now you see this car has a very long empty nose nobody sits up there they're just stuff up there and that's the crush zone that's sacrificial it's for streamlining it has no purpose other than that and if something bumps into you in the front, it's going to hit that before it hits you. And then, of course, it's got these big roll bar structures. So, the thing's built to last. And by the way, you can reskin it. Let's say it's rusting through on the skin or it gets dented or something like that. Eh, no problem. It doesn't have any compound curves. So regular flat sheet metal will work. And here's the standard handbrake with a cable that anybody can figure out. It goes over that wheel over there, just like all cars. So your mechanic can fix everything on this car. Okay, so let's talk about controllers. These things. Yeah. These. Not very nice, huh? So, they're all, it's got a multi-layer circuit board inside there with some burned components. I had it open. Too bad. Or maybe the screws are still out. It, it's yucky in there. It's toxic. But, yeah. It's got a burn right through there, that capacitor right there on that board. See, it's burned through the board. And, you know, it's a double layer board. So this thing is not easy to fix. And we don't want that. We want socketed. We want two sections. Let me get, there's a fan over here. We don't care about that. Uh, we want when the Sobe doesn't need a fan. Now, we want, instead of a heat sink covering all the FETs under there, which you can't get to, we want socketed FETs. We want them to plug into a socket and then screw on. And we want that in a separate box. And then this reversing, these are relays for reversing, and they just use two in parallel for each side. But, again, separate box for the reversers where we can just fix the relays if we need to. No more circuit board. We're going point to point so we can solder a new thing in. And the capacitors, again, well, the capacitors should be near the, uh, they will be mounted on a separate thingy in the box with the FETs. Wouldn't that be nice? One that you could fix. You find out what's blown in it, replace the blown components, and look, it should be buffered so that, here's the driver. The driver is tucked way in, there it is, inside there. That little microcircuitry stuff. Separate box, please. And it should be buffered well enough so if the FET's short, 
it does not affect the performance of the drivers. There, the drivers. Wouldn't that be nice? So again, we want them to make a product that puts them out of business because they already have enough and they work perfectly. There are such things uh, in the junkyards. The junkyard is going to be full of electric car inverters, Tesla inverters, Prius inverters, all that stuff. And there are actually aftermarket boards people are making now. You can find them on YouTube, I think. They work with Tesla inverters and stuff like that. Uh, as a possible source, but not for a production car. I want to go dedicated for the production car and just do it right. And remember, this isn't just a car repair crisis. This is a car insurance crisis. Because, you know, cars are so expensive and so irreparable that insurance companies are going to have no choice but to double prices. When you're paying six or seven dollars a day if you don't drive your car that hurts that's ouch we have to defend a way of life and that way of life is the common people getting involved with engineering and the way you get involved with engineering is through mechanics mechanics is the first thing you learn in physics so you know if you start your mechanics education hands-on that's always a good thing and it, it leads to a, a certain type of societal development that is very useful called, you know, ingenuity, Yankee ingenuity. Well, that's going to become lost if there's nothing left to fix. It's all just throw away in the dump. That's, we really want to avoid that. Leave me your comments. Companies won't build what the people want. We really have to think about building them and selling them. You know, we want to be able to drive. We want to be able to drive when, you know, you can't charge for some reason because something happened to the grid and then, you know, gas stations either are no more or they're closed or there are lines around them or there's no gas at them or it's too expensive and you just don't feel like it. The success of this whole thing really hinges upon U.S. battery manufacturing. Without that, none of this is going to be possible. So we're all hopeful for that. They're shipping sample batteries all the time. They're really good. So it's just the U.S. batteries I'm not able to buy at the present time. We hope that within a year I can buy all the U.S. made batteries I want. Oh, I wish.